Uh, Patty, I think this is what you're talking about. And uh, this is actually uh, what you see when you uh, are headed to the overlook. But the uh, sound is powerful and great. A lot of people out here today, this morning. Sorry everybody had to miss it. But uh, I'm loving it. I guess this is where I'm going to take the boys at when they come here this summer. Get them some backpacks and we'll find those rocks. Okay, I'm going to move on because they do have a nice you know, bridge here and there's the other side of the uh, Potomac. Love that sound. Love that sound. So this uh kind of takes you uh you notice how the sound immediately good morning goes away. Now you're really gonna have to be uh get a doctor's note on this one because <laughs> you got there's there's some walking to do. Uh, on this trail, I'm going to do the uh, Billy Goat Trail, the three Billy Goat Trails, based on the level of difficulty. And I'm not here to make it very difficult, I'm sure. Um, I'm here for the beauty today, so I'm going to take uh, the Billy Goat uh, B Trail. Which is not as uh, strenuous as the uh, Billy Goat A trail, but uh, this does involve a little exercise here this morning. Not sure, that's pretty quiet down there. I'll get some pictures of that when I come back so just one of uh, I left the car went to the little guide center and uh, got my map mapped out and color coded for my walk and now I'm just taking uh, you guys over the uh, walkway. Christopher and I came here many years ago and he was into uh, photography then and uh, took a couple of good uh, snapshots. I can't remember so many bridges. I think they done made this handicap accessible. And uh, when I came here, you know, it was just a trail. <laughs> so this is all new to get the people over to the overlook. Yeah, we didn't have... Uh, Oh man, did you see that uh, herring fly <laughs> fly in right there? Uh, just look kind of north on the video and you'll see a herring uh, walking on that uh, rock there. He just uh, 
flew in. I don't know if I'm calling it right, herring or heron. Uh, it's a big bird. <laughs> so, let's uh, continue on. So, I think this will, uh, you know, get you some exercise and we can also walk down the canal uh, because it costs five dollars to get in here too per vehicle and even if you're walking in it costs you three dollars so it gets you either way unless you know a back door <laughs> so this is not bad uh, beginning of the season so it's not too hot and that means there's not a lot of gnats out and you know not a lot of insects flying around yet but so far it's taken me maybe uh, I don't know four or five minutes you know take out the stops to uh, get over here <laughs> good morning So, uh, yeah, they have made it handicap accessible, so. Do like y'all do down Disney. <laughs> Puts you in the wheelchair. <laughs> I know how y'all do. <laughs> Good morning. So we're getting to the part where everybody comes up here to take the wonderful pictures. Good morning. And that wasn't too bad. I got a total of about seven minutes so far, and that included the stops. So. That's not bad. To come over to get a scenic crossing, and on the other side, obviously, is where Bree <laughs> resides at. This is the Maryland side. Oh man, you went up some falls. Wow. There are your falls. Hey, man. Wow. <laughs> Sand had a lot these days. <laughs> I don't see any uh, kayakers. Many years ago, even in this rough water, I guess this is the challenge. For kayakers see the people over on the Virginia side uh, oh there's a kayaker but he's already at the base two of them there I want to see if we can get a shot of them actually taking on some white water as they call it yeah, I don't see any brave souls <laughs> venturing down here so you know for five bucks a little walk depending on the time of the day in the morning I'm quite sure it's a different scene towards the evening I'm quite sure the water's probably calmer uh, but it is a beautiful sight to see. Uh, and this is close to what they call the river bend, where the river bends. So, uh, wouldn't take us long here. You come here, you spend maybe, what, an hour, I'd say, or two. And the rest, uh, the, the sites that you would see would obviously be on the different trails and walks that you take alongside the Potomac and take your captures from there. So, I'm going to try to get this to 10 minutes. I'm trying to let it flow to 10 minutes. <laughs> I've got just a couple more seconds uh, to go. Okay, there we go, 10 minutes. 